Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene and my channel is called Dress Yourself Happy. Welcome back to another Makeup Bag Monday, number two. Last week, I shared with you guys my new series called Makeup Bag Monday, where I'm going to select a variety of products to test out for a full week, share with you guys what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, do I really enjoy the products or not after a whole week of using it, and then share with you new products I picked out for the upcoming week, and you can check back every week to see how the products from the previous week fared. So I'm so excited. You guys are really excited about this. I got amazing feedback. It just brings so much like joy to me that you guys like my idea and it was originally a blog series so a lot of you guys who read my blog was even really excited that it was going to be a video series now so I'm very excited this is the second one so I'm going to talk about everything that I tried out for the last week what I thought about it and if I recommend it or not and then share with you guys the new products I picked out which I have some really fun products to, that I'm excited to test out for a full week to see if it's worth it and yeah so let's get Get started. Let's talk about the somewhat controversial Tarte Shape Tape. Now I have the shade Light and Medium. If you watched last week's video, you know that I had major drama at my Ulta. What made me really upset was hearing all of your bad experiences at Ulta. It's totally not okay to ever have a bad customer service experience when we are spending so much money at these places because a lot of you guys were Platinum Perk members as well. I really like Ulta's Perk benefits because you can get basically money back, not money back, but you know, you can exchange your points for Ulta money rewards kind of a thing. And the customer service is really hit or miss depending which Ulta you go to at what time of day. I was, I think, talking to a manager too. So unfortunately, like asking for a manager doesn't always help. And the shipping is horrendous even for Platinum Perk members. It takes like two weeks to get your products. It's really unbelievable. So I'm actually really upset about this because it wasn't just my experience, but you guys started snapping me. You um, left a bunch of comments telling me how horrible, like I think out of all the comments, there's like maybe one or two good experiences versus all the bad experiences. So I really apologize for that. I'm hoping that I'm gonna actually take the initiative and file a report as you guys asked me to. And I hope that if we can all just like, in a constructive and pleasant way, kind of ex sharing our experiences, that maybe corporate will do something about it. At least maybe offering quicker shipping so that we can order things online in a better, like, you know, and get it within two weeks. So. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I kind of feel bad even talking about the Tarte Shape Tape because as I'm filming this, it's sold out on Ulta and Tarte. That being said, I was told that my Ulta is going to have them back in stock on Friday. I don't know if that was a lie to just get me off their back. So um, I do know they will be back in stock. It's not limited edition as far as I'm aware of. So hopefully this review will still help you guys out. Now, as much as I hate that you have to buy this at Ulta, I really love this concealer. It's really, really good. I've been wearing it all week. I'm wearing it today again because I just really love it and I didn't pick out a new concealer for the week because I really love it that much. It's really pigmented. It lasts all day. It doesn't crease. It doesn't do anything weird and it's super lightweight for the amount of coverage you can get. You can obviously build this up but I find a little goes a really long way. I scoop out the product on this giant doe foot applicator. I rub some of it off and I just dab it. And then I use a beauty blender to blend it in because it is so pigmented. That's what I find works the best. Light actually works really well for under my eyes to give that brightening effect. And the medium is the perfect shade for any blemishes or discoloration or coverage that you might want on my face. And I think if you're around the same uh, foundation shade as me, you'll like both of these for different reasons. If you're looking for something under the eyes, I would recommend if you want a little bit more natural to go for light medium, but if you like that brightening effect and you have dark circles, go with the light. And that's only if, speaking to people close to my shade range. I am NC 25 or 30 in MAC. All of my foundation shades will be listed in my frequently asked questions page as well though. Sorry, my voice is like 
I'm losing my voice right now. All of my foundation shades, my filming equipment, all of that stuff is always linked in my frequently asked questions section of my blog. So check that out if you have if you wanted to like know more. But I really enjoyed these. I, can't, I have nothing bad to say about this. It's such a great, great product. Unfortunately, you have to buy it at Ulta. Um, or you can order it on Tarte, but they're sold out currently on the Tarte website. So when these get back into stock, I really recommend checking them out, picking it up, maybe getting a little sample and testing it out yourself because I'm really happy with this. And I'm pretty picky because I do have fine lines under my eyes and a lot of concealers will cake and crease. Even though I do use a setting powder to set this, I don't find that it's necessary all the time. Like it's not going to bunch immediately. In terms of this comparing it to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, I don't think it's the same. I think the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer is a lot richer and creamier and has a tendency to sink into my fine lines and make me look a little bit older if I don't set it immediately and if I don't use a really, really mattifying setting powder. This one is a lot more forgiving for those of us with under eye lines. Comparing this the closest thing I can compare this to is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It's very pigmented, it's very lightweight, and it's very long lasting. It feels a little bit like the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, except a little bit creamier and hydrating without being heavy. I have the browsing in number three, and I'd been using this for a week. I really like this. I think it's a good product. I think it's cute packaging. I like the powder. The wax is also really nice to kind of like set everything and it's a good all-in-one. My only complaint is even though this brush comes out and you can open it up so it's easier to use, I wish that they had a spoolie on this end instead of another brush. This end I get is more for like wax to apply the wax, but I really need a spoolie and I'm okay with mixing the powder and the wax with one angled side of the brush and then having a spoolie on this end. I'm just not like really going to ever use this kind of tapered uh, brush head. So I do like the products. I'm not crazy about these little tools that are included because I also feel like they just take up more space and they also like fall out when you are traveling and then it becomes a mess. These little tweezers are a little bit too flat. I wish they're a little pointier. So I'm not crazy about the little tools, but I do like the products. I do like the packaging. It has a nice size mirror and it's just a good product. I think it's very comparable to the original browsing, which I was a big fan of. Now I have the Ready Set Brow, which I do like, but I do not like as much as the Gimme Brow. So if you are going to choose between Ready Set Brow and Gimme Brow, I would go with the Gimme Brow. The Gimme Brow is tinted. The Gimme Brow has a little bit more texture to it. The Gimme Brow helps build up the texture of your brows. And if you're like me who have very sparse brows, then it would be a better product. If you have very thick brows and very bushy brows and need something to kind of help set everything and kind of tame your brows, this would be the product for you. However, I also think Gimme Brow would be great for you as well and add a little bit of tint and grooming effect. So if you're lucky enough to have full brows, Gimme Brow is still the better product in my opinion. I have two high brows and this is in the glow and the matte. Out of the two, I like the glow one more because I can use this on the inner corners of my eyes. I use it to highlight the brow bone and I also use this to highlight the surrounding perimeter of my brows to give it more dimension and depth. You could also use this as a highlight on your cheek, your cupid's bow, and you can do right here to really give your pout that extra oomph. Now, the matte one is not bad, and who I think the matte one might be geared more towards are women who have fine lines and who have wrinkles that don't want to necessarily add shimmer to it. It's all personal preference. Just because you're more mature doesn't mean that you can't wear shimmers. It's just personal preference and what you find and feel more confident in. So for me, I personally like the shimmer or the glow version just because I think it adds a little more variety, and because this one is matte, it tends... If I use it on the inner corners of my eyes, I don't find it as brightening as if I used the glow version. So again, personal preference, both are great, both are long lasting, both are easy to blend in with your fingertips or a brush. However, if you're gonna only buy one and you're around my age, then go with the glow. If you don't like shimmer, the original is just as good. 
Now let's talk about the Pure Cosmetics Love Your Selfie 2 palette. I've been wearing this and you guys have been loving my eye makeup. So I have to say the eyeshadows are beautiful except for statuesque. I don't know if I got a dud, but statuesque does not show up on me. It doesn't do anything. I can't even swatch this. It's so light against my skin tone and it's so, so light to get pigmentation. Like I feel like even though I'm like rubbing and trying to get the swatch, it's just not coming off as easily as like that one, which is Panorama or even Headshot. Like look how beautiful that opaque white is. I don't know why this one shadow does not show up and I don't know if it's all of the palettes but I do know mine is having that problem now I love this composition bronzer all over the face it's beautiful to warm up the face these two are really beautiful highlights I know that if you're super fair that photogenic would be a great blush but for me it's more of a highlight and I love using it on the inner corners of my eyes I also like using overexposed for a mattifying non not so shimmery highlight as well it's just a really beautiful color you can use it all over your lid all over your brow bone really really beautiful I love the shimmers these are really beautiful rich bronzy warm fall colors so definitely a palette that transitions you from summer to fall and into winter I love the lip colors you guys have been complimenting me on my lip colors and I've been wearing this lip pencil which is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Focal Point. I line my lips with it and I fill it in, and then I apply this gloss. This is the shade Silhouette, and I apply that all over, and it's just been really beautiful. It's really comfortable to wear. It lasts a decent amount of time, but more importantly, it's comfortable to wear, which I am always looking for. I hate when my lips don't feel comfortable. Mascara I like. I use it on my lower lash line. It's a good mascara. I have lash extensions, so I have used this before I got my lash extensions, and this is a great formula in terms of building volume and helping keep a curl. So this palette is very much worth it except for the one eyeshadow that doesn't work on my palette. I need to watch some other videos to see if this statuesque shade shows up on other people but for me that's the one dud out of this whole palette. However the lip products itself and these eyeshadows over here with the sh cheek shades are definitely worth it in my opinion. It's a great great palette and because I have an extra one, there will be a giveaway in this video, so stay tuned till the end to see how to enter. Okay, so now for the products that I chose for this coming week. I have this very expensive La Prairie powder, and this is their Cellulose Treatment Loose Powder. It comes with this giant tub of loose powder, it's translucent, and then it comes with this travel-friendly one, and it's refillable, so that's kind of nice. It kind of like lessens the blow of spending so much on a powder. Um, at first I thought, oh wow, it's La Prairie, it's going to be full of really amazing ingredients. I tried to look up the ingredients on the website before ordering. I couldn't find it. I got the package. I looked on the package for the ingredients and the first ingredient is talc. So I did a whole rant on Snapchat, but talc is a very gray area product in loose form. So talc is a very toxic product and causes cancer if in a loose form applied to the genitals, which is why it's so bad as baby powder. However, as a pressed form, it's not as toxic and technically it's not toxic when you're not applying it to your genitals. This is a loose form. The reason I'm hesitant to recommend products that are loose form talc is because one, it's a very cheap ingredient. So when you're paying $95 for a powder and it's the first ingredient, it makes me a little like, eh. And two, it's a loose form and if it's toxic going up your genitals, it's probably toxic inhaling it and we can't guarantee that we're not gonna inhale it as we're applying the powder. It's also an ingredient that a lot of people break out from. So based on your sensitivity level, based on a lot of the research, I just don't know if it's 100% safe to use as a loose translucent powder. However, I'm gonna give this try for a week and hold my breath while I apply this and see how I like it. I'm wearing it today, it looks pretty, but I'm not sure it's any better than my Bye Bye Pores or my Cover FX one, which both do not have talc in. So it's really pretty though. The packaging is gorgeous. La Prairie makes some really beautiful products. 
very expensive powder to be playing with so I will update you guys next week on that. The next product I have is the Superhero Palette from It Cosmetics. This is their new eyeshadow palette which I am wearing on my eyes today. I already like this more than the Naturally Pretty palettes because the Naturally Pretty palettes I felt like were almost too blendable and this has a little bit more pigmentation and a little more staying power. So still very soft, still, still very silky and beautiful. I'm going to play with this for a week to see if it's enough options, if I still love it after a week and update you guys, but I really think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous palette and it seems to be very versatile but we'll see. I was so impressed with the Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter. So I am going to try out the new Ofra highlight called Rodeo Drive. So clearly they're sticking with a theme with their highlight naming. And this is really gorgeous. It's just a beautiful gold. It kind of reminds me of like a sister product of the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Prosecco Pop almost but it's really, really pretty. It's super pigmented. This doesn't give as much kickback as the Beverly Hills highlight, and I'm not sure if it's because it's just one single color versus five individual colors. The brow product I'm playing with for the week is going to be this Too Faced Brow Quickie. It's a brush on brow fiber cream. I have the shade Universal Brunette. This is also supposed to be 12 hour wear, waterproof. So that's good, especially since I do fill in my brows when I work out, but I try to not wear it other makeup whenever possible. The bronzer I have to play with this week is from Jouer. I really love Jouer bronzers, but I haven't really played with this shade too much and it's called Sun Swept. It's really, really warm. Their bronzers are super pigmented, very, very smooth, never patchy, and it's a mineral bronzer. Another eye product I'm testing out is from Flower Beauty, and this is very affordable. This is Drew Barrymore's cosmetics line that's available through Walmart only. Unfortunately, I try to get their stuff a lot of the times, and it's always sold out at my Walmart. So you, you open this up, and this reminds me a lot of the um, Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill, because it's not a cream, but it's not a powder, it's like a mousse almost and it's just very interesting so the texture is really interesting I actually think mine's a little dried out so I'll have to play with this and see how it works I did wear this all over the lid one day this week so far and I really really like it and it's just a really pretty color this is the shade sheer sands so it's a really pretty wash of color you can also use it as an eyeshadow base so I like the new flower packaging with the black and gold versus the white and gold that it used to be so I will update you guys on this as well now as promised I am going to be giving away a brand new pure cosmetics love your selfie 2 palette because I did have that one and then they sent me an extra one and I'm like I don't need two of these palettes even though I really really love it and then I'm also going to include this really fun light that you can clip onto your phone and it's a little ring light to clip onto the phone and you can turn it on. I might have to switch the batteries for this before I give this to you, but basically you can turn it on and it'll like illuminate your selfie light. In order to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, this channel, and I will have the raffle copter link in the description box. You click on the raffle copter link, this giveaway will be open for one week only. And the reason I don't announce my giveaways like in the beginning of my videos anymore or put it in the title is because I really want to make sure it's an opportunity for those of you guys already watching. And I don't want people to just subscribe and come over and then like unsubscribe and never watch my videos because I really appreciate you guys and the support you've given me. I want to be able to give back as frequently as possible and I'm going to be sneaking them in in my weekly series. So I will have the raffle copter in the description box, but mainly you only have to be subscribed to my channel. There'll be some bonus entry options like following me on Snapchat, Instagram, or leaving a specific thing or something somewhere. And everything is done through raffle copter. You'll have one week to enter and at the end of the giveaway, raffle copter will help me auto generate a winner. I'll contact the winner directly. They have 24 hours to respond and then I will send out the gift. If they don't respond, within 24 hours I'll choose a new winner you can always find out who the winner is by revisiting the raffle copter link Once the winner is confirmed I always I always like 
click the little option to announce the winner on the link. So you guys can always check back there to see who the winner was or is. You'll find all the terms and conditions on Rafflecopter. Once I ship off the product, I'm not responsible for lost packages or damaged packages. I do my best to ship it off within a week, unless you guys ask me to hold off on that. And um, yeah, so I'm spending my own money to ship everything to you guys. This is open internationally. If you're under 18, please ask your parents for permission because if you win, I will need to ask for your shipping address and name. And I just wanna make sure your parents are cool with that, that not some crazy girl on the internet is asking for your information. And um, yeah, so it's really, really the easiest way for me to generate an, a winner fairly. And it's been working really well for this channel as well as my blog. So I do a lot of giveaways on my blog. I do a lot here as well. I try to hide them a little bit. So it's for those of you guys who really pay attention and who watch my videos as a reward. Now, I know some people have been having problems by getting bombarded by emails asking to be the winner, asking who won, all that stuff. I haven't had that problem here yet. And I really wanna thank you guys for respecting the giveaways and respecting my channel and understanding that I'm gonna do as many as I can and not everyone can win. I wish everyone can win, but I'm gonna do my best to bring you as many opportunities as possible. So let's keep it respectful that way and let's not like be mean to each other. Let's not um, start emailing me personally because um, that's been starting to happen on all of channels and it's become a real headache for everybody. Not me yet, so thank God, but I just don't want that to start to happen here. And yeah, so um, hopefully it can remain that way. And if you don't win, please don't be upset. I will have more giveaways coming up and I have a whole box of things I plan on doing. I try to space them out between videos and blog posts. So also, if you sign up for my newsletter, which is part of the kind of deal like through Rafflecopter, you'll always know about giveaways on my blog because you'll get a weekly update of what's happening on my blog. So that's a good way to keep in touch. I try not to bombard you guys. I totally respect the fact that you are trusting me with your email. So when you sign up for my newsletter, you'll get one email a week with what's been going on for the week. And that usually will include any updated giveaway information or blog posts. So I'm totally losing my voice right now. I don't know why my allergies are killing me. So I'm going to stop talking and hope you guys enter the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're really enjoying Makeup Bag Mondays. I'm very excited that I've got such great feedback from you guys and all the love and the support. And I just can't thank you guys enough. It's been an amazing, amazing journey. You guys are so excited for the five uploads a week. You guys are so excited for all these new series. It's just so cool because I'm excited to bring it to you. And with your excitement, it just like perpetuates how hard I wanna work for you guys. So thank you so much for watching till the end. If you're new to my channel, it's called Rest Yourself Happy because I truly hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, even on my worst days, it just helps me get through my day. And if that speaks to you, I'd love to see you guys back here. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you tomorrow for Tester Tuesday. Bye.